All right, last time we learned about what the R value is, and it's a connection of two variables. Are they related to each other or not related to each other? And it all went according to this chart because it depended on your sample size. But obviously, R values that are closer to having a one or a negative one value means that there's more of a stronger connection between those. Okay, so would you guess that the area of a house and the price of the house, would that have a connection to each other? Yes. Probably, right? Okay, so if there is a house that is 1,500 square feet, its average is 145,000, da, 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 that's what this chart is all about. Okay, so I need you to fill in this chart. So all you're going to do is this, so like 15 times 145, and then you're just going to get a number there. So this times that is that number. This chart says what's x squared here in this column, so you just take x squared, so 15 squared. And then this column, I need you to do a y value squared, so 145 squared. So should we conquer and divide? Is that okay? Um, that half of the room, you have x times y. This row, you guys have the x squareds. And then this wall, you have the y squared. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, Vlad, you're going to start us off here with the, the next one. Yeah, good. Reese. All right, you got to go louder. Three, four, five, zero. Yes. Janet. Uh, zero. 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 63, 60, zero. Okay. Um, all right. Starting at the front. Go ahead. One. I got. It. Okay. Five, two, nine, zero. There's that. Okay. Two, five, six. That's it. Oh, is it the same? Yeah. Twice. Ooh. One more volunteer. Five, seven, six. Okay, last. Nice and loud. Yep. Yep. Start up. Five, one, nine, eight, four. Five, one, nine, eight, four. Two, two, five, hundred. <laughs> uh, sixteen thousand nine hundred. Yep. Two, five, six, zero, zero. Uh, twelve, nine, nine, six. Back to you, Back Riff. To me. Yeah. Two, zero, one, six, four. Two zero one six four. Seven zero two two five. Okay, so I've already done these ones. So I, what I did was I went and I added. Remember this symbol? It means the sum. So add, add. So we need to add those three. So if, do the ones. Good. All right. Do we all agree on what over there? Agreed. Okay. X squared people. 
3855. Good. Y squared people. 241394. Okay. So all that. Now we got to actually figure this R value up. Okay, so this is a very complicated looking formula, so we just have to follow it. N. N is the number of stats. So how many houses did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we did this with eight houses. Okay, so here we go. N, eight times the summation of the x, y. So that is this one, 29611. Minus. This says the sum of the x column. So that's the 165 times the sum of the y column. So that's the 1334. All over. The square root of. Okay, so this is n again times. Okay, I want to talk about something. This is really because this formula does two things. These kind of if I were to say them the sum of x squared and the sum of x squared. If I say them they sound the same but they're different. This one is doing the sum of x squared and this one is doing the sum of x squared. Do you see the difference in the format? What's the sum of x squared? And this one is doing what's the sum of x squared. Okay? So that's kind of tricky. Okay, so this one says the sum of x squared. So go to the x squared, and then that is that number. minus the sum of x, 165 squared. So do you see what I did different? What is the sum of x squared? What is the sum of x squared? Okay, so then the last one is n, so 8 times, and here again, it's the same thing. What's the sum of the y squared? Oh boy, I'm running out of room here. And then this says the sum of y squared. Okay, is that like one of the craziest looking formulas you've probably ever done? Okay, now can we type this in properly? Uh oh. Sorry, I'm just. I don't know. Tell me if anybody matches. Why do we need to do this? Okay, so going to what does this mean? So I'm going to go to my R chart. Remember the last time we did an R chart here? 
Okay, so our sample size, we have eight. That's our sample size. So is our R value above this? No. Yes. Is our R value above this? No. So I can, in fact, say, because my R is this, bigger than this, I can say that I am 95% confident there's a connection between these variables. That's what I can determine. And would it make sense that it's a positive connection? As you increase square footage, would price increase? Yes, that's a positive connection. So that's why my R value is positive. Okay, so again, something negative. We talked about it was like hours on phone and grades in school. As that goes up, that goes down. Like that's a negative connection. Negative, what's that? 